was reading through the news and uh, climate change, water shortage, uh, Malaysian COVID, uh, Iran uh, non-lockdown. I mean, it's just what's going on. Well, anyway, I hope you liked the video. If you do, please do that and uh, subscribe if you haven't. And uh, I really do appreciate you. Thank you so much. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. I guess I've been reading the news too much. So, but these four questions uh, just uh, are in the front of my mind. And I thought, well, why not just go ahead and do a reading and see what comes up? So that's what we'll do. So, you know, I'm, I'm reading in the news, climate news. Rain fell instead of snow. Rain fell instead of snow on Greenland's summit, two miles above sea level for the first time ever. <laughs> and then uh, rain came down with temperatures above freezing for the third time in 10 years. Um, it's another uh, ice melt event. Then um, wildfires are raging worldwide. Siberian blazes made 800 megatons of carbon dioxide, twice uh, last year's uh, record, and as much as Germany emits in a whole year. Uh, drought covers the western U.S. until fall or longer, and deaths by extreme temperatures increased uh, exponentially. Uh, just deaths by extreme cold uh, increased 31%. Uh, the climate disaster is worse. So that's the first question. That's climate, you know. What what can we learn about that? Number two, for the first time ever, USA declared a water shortage on the Colorado River. Um, and that caused mandatory, mandatory cuts uh, to water across the southwest. Uh, Lake Mead, okay, is the largest reservoir in the United States, and it's fed by the Colorado River. And it's at its record low with 32% um, capacity right now, uh, unprecedented uh, drought. And uh, that's from the Water and Science uh, of the U.S. Department of the Interior. So why would they say that? Uh, the Malaysian uh, Prime Minister resigned over his handling of the COVID-19 uh, virus in the worst wave of pandemic with more than 20,000 cases a day and there's only a third of Malaysians who are fully vaccinated. And then in Iran, so they've got a six-day uh, lockdown for the worst surge of the pandemic uh, yet with over 650 deaths and this uh, Tehran uh, resident said so uh, when there's a lockdown, people continue to go to work. They come and go. It's called a lockdown, but everything is operating. And restaurants and businesses uh, can, can continue to do business. So those are the questions. I'll ask those four questions and um, uh, probably we'll do a, um, a diet across on each one. So this Japaridze tarot is amazing. They're by Nino Japaridze. Now she's a Georgian artist. Georgia, not the United States, Georgia, Europe. Uh, uh, and um, so these are beautiful. Even the, the packaging is wonderful. It's shiny and glossy. It's a nice, you know, if you gave this as a gift, you'd feel like, wow, that was a really nice gift. The guidebook is so amazing. The text in this guidebook is by someone named Steve Lucas. And uh, his story is interesting. And it kind of goes over that in, in the guidebook, how he came to know her. And uh, he's a fellow a couple of years uh, younger than me, lives in New York, uh, an art uh, enthusiast and gallery owner, and he happened to meet uh, Nino, as a matter of fact, uh, on a uh, trip to Paris, about 2008, I think it was, where they, uh, he, she was exhibiting her art, which I understand she's been doing for years, I mean, since she was a child, and, um, and so they came to an agreement that she would do uh, some depictions of the major arcana about six months down the road. That was about finished. And he, he talked to her about doing the rest of the cards. That took about another year. So she's probably got two years into the, all of these are full size, whatever full sizes for her paintings. And uh, I can imagine that anybody would love having uh, some of these uh, works of art uh, in their home framed. Um, and they certainly exist somewhere. So I like to, to um, Spread these cards out like this so that uh, if you don't look at cards very often, you can get a sense of what a whole pack looks like. And um, and the only difficulty with cards like these, this kind of surrealist art, is that you really need to know uh, what your divination of the uh, Rider Waite system is going to be. So they're beautiful cards, and I love using them. So that's a loaded um, ask. So four uh, four questions major. Uh, climate news, okay? 
the water shortage. The climate news is worldwide. The water shortage in the U.S. Southwest. We might as well say the, the western half of the United States. Um, COVID in Malaysia, and the, the prime minister is gone. And Iran, not a Bengal lockdown. What in the world is going on? So that's four questions. So we'll get four stacks going here. Do a couple of these and then spread them out and see what we can tell for all of this. I mean, is this the end of the world? You know, don't you think that sometimes? Is it uh, a major uh, event, but it, it'll get back to the way it was? Um, this is a permanent change that we can live with somehow, you know, after some difficulty, but, but we can adjust to it and it'll, you know, we'll just be, learn how to live like that. Climate change. So let's see. Six cards. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. Climate change. The signifier card for climate change worldwide, worldwide, is, whoa, the ten of tides. I mean, I don't know. It seems like you couldn't ask for a better card to signify climate change. Okay. Uh, tides are uh, cups, and cups are passion and, and emotion and deep feelings. And this is a beautiful card. And the ten of tides, the, the ten is always the end, towards the end of a cycle. And can you see in this in this card right here, this, this artist is amazing. There's a face right here. And these are almost like arms with hands uh, sticking out on either side as a, a terror you know, almost uh, screaming uh, at the ocean and, and the atmosphere. It's amazing. It's amazing. The more you look at it, the more you see, and the more colors uh, pop out at you. So this Ten of Tides is full, full, full of passion. And that's what I love when you get a card that's created by an artist. They understood what the, a Ten of Cups is, and she represented that in a big way. So lots of compassion. Um, climate change. This There's a lot going on. Uh, the challenge to that is, ah, the Wheel of Fortune. Man, oh man. So the Wheel of Fortune, and uh, I suppose the more, more prosperous uh, we become in such a greedy way uh, that we just continue to, um, you know, uh, uh, use the, all those resources we can as greedily and, and make as much as we can. So this is a challenge to these, this uh, changing uh, weather. The base of the whole thing, though, is the Two of Gardens. So that's the Two of Pentacles. And it's, yeah, it is. It's trying to balance. Look at that. It's trying to uh, juggle um, these issues of um, uh, using the earth and saving the earth. Man, that's amazing. That's beautiful. And then the uh, past of that uh, is the nine of uh, gardens. Uh, nine of gardens, nine of um, earth. Oh, why can't I think of it? Gosh, 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 gosh. Um, that has, that's pinnacles. Yeah, of course. Sorry. Uh, so nine of pinnacles. And, uh, you know, that's really having so much more than you ever even need. I mean, look at the, the picture of this woman here. She is completely consumed by all of these, you know, beautiful flowers and an amazing fan. I mean, she's just perfectly set out in this amazing garden. Uh, so yeah, the Nine of Gardens is we have had everything. We have had the Garden of Eden. The sky of this, and that was in the past, is the Two of Tides. That's right. It's the Two of Cups. So it's a great big uh, needing to uh, bring two emotional uh, people or events or or situations together. So the Two of Cups is um, is usually a loving kind of a, a thought, um, maybe an oath sworn to, um, but I think it's just a big emotional uh, agreement that we need to come to. Yep. So the uh, likely outcome of the whole thing for that climate question worldwide is uh, ah, the Hierophant. So the answer is government. Governments have to control what's going on in an honest way and for the good of the people so that's the first one climate so let's get on to the next question which is uh, the water shortage in the southwest united states lake mead i mean i don't know i've been across the lake mead and seen that uh, the dam uh, a few times 
uh, traveling, driving across the country, and it's amazing. And I can't imagine that it's only a third full. I mean, when I was there, it was just huge. And the generators aren't even working. You know, it generates electricity out of it, of course. And uh, those were, were working. That was amazing to take that tour. And uh, those aren't even uh, working, uh, certainly not like they should. So the water shortage across the Southwest, the water shortage across the United States Southwest. Good God, what on earth will we do? I mean, we're right there at the ocean all along the side. So it's like the old saying, water, water everywhere and not a drop to drink. Man, the water shortage across the uh, Southwest of the United States. Six cards. These cards are even kind of watercolored. So this is uh, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Yep. So that's the cards we've got. One, two, three, four, five, six. The signifier for this draw, the water shortage across the Western United States, Southwest. Uh, love. Isn't that interesting? Jeez. So number six of the major arcana uh, in, are the lovers. Um, water shortage across the Southwestern United States. Lovers. I don't know unless it can also mean partnerships. Um, uh, because um, that's what that is. I mean, the partnerships for those states all along the Colorado River and beyond uh, Lake Mead, uh, all of those folks pay for and have um, negotiated how much water they can have. Huh. I don't know. That's a stretch, maybe. But the challenge to that, uh, then, is the Four of uh, Pentacles, which is, oh, yeah, trying to hold on. The Four of Pentacles is usually uh, Four of Gardens. Is a, pe gardens are Gardens of Pentacles? Yes, or Pentacles. And then typically a guy just holding on to his Four of Pentacles. This guy is completely controlling uh, this little doll. So it's really the same kind of uh, really frenzied, uh, studious, uh, careful control that you don't want to mess up because things won't look right. And uh, so that's the challenge to these partnerships is, is getting them right. Uh, the the, the um, base of this is the Ace of Tides, which is interesting that it would be tides because that's water, that's uh, cups, and that's emotion. And we're talking about a great big river running through the Southwest, the Colorado River. It, it, you know, somebody can say, oh yeah, that's an Ace of Tides right there. So I love that. So that's the base of the reading, and that's completely appropriate. We're talking about the uh, Colorado River. Look at that. And we're cutting it off. <laughs> we're going to cut it off more, as a matter of fact. Here, there's the cards in. The past to that uh, uh, reading about the uh, water shortage for the uh, southwestern United States, the King of Tides, controlling that water. But that was the past. Okay. We, were the, it was, we, were, we had plenty. We had plenty, so you can control it when you have plenty. When there's nothing to control, what do you have? So that's what we have the past. We were the, the, in control of what was going on. And, uh, oh, yeah, it's a joke. Um, the gesture of tides is like the fool. And uh, so, yeah, uh, we, we're on a new journey now. But it really does also speak to how foolish we've been. And, uh, and look, gesture of tides, full of water. How about that for an on-point reading? Uh, and then the likely outcome for the whole thing is the Ace of Gardens. So that's very hopeful. That's a great big offer. That's an Ace of Pentacles. So that's a huge offer of, of value. Okay. And uh, look at that. So that is a very hopeful uh, answer to my question. What about the water shortage in the southwestern United States? It looks like there's, there's hope. Okay. Without drilling down to see uh, what is the hope that we will survive and adjust to it, that uh, we'll get the uh, water source from somewhere, which we can't. It's melted. Um, so the next question then is the uh, COVID situation in Malaysia. And then finally, we'll finish up with talking about Iran and a non-lockdown, but Malaysia's COVID situation. The prime minister actually uh, resigned. I mean, he got out of there. I mean, greedy, corrupt people don't uh, do that uh, easily. So, wow. Okay. Sorry I said that, cards. That's something about greedy and corrupt that really set the cards off. Uh, let's see. So, we're blending you back together. And let's go... For the COVID of Malaysia. One, two, three, four, five, and six. COVID in Malaysia. The Prime Minister gave up. Huh. Just like the Afghan guy. So the signifier card for COVID in Malaysia, uh, how this Prime Minister handled all this stuff. So we start here, six of uh, pinnacles is um, a distribution. So this is uh, doling out the value to where it's deserved. And this is a beautiful card. 
I mean, uh, out of the shadows, which that could be considered uh, the government even, there's a great big bouquet being offered uh, to this, uh, you know, you know, person, you know, uh, a citizen. And uh, so the Six of Gardens uh, regarding uh, Malaysia was uh, balancing out uh, how they dealt with their citizenry, I suppose. Six of Gardens and, and how it was in the past. Uh, well, no, the Six of Gardens really is is uh, is what's happening right now. Uh, but what is it challenged by? It's challenged by, ah, the Ten of Tides again. So this, uh, for me, I mean, what else would it represent except the storm of what COVID was? So, um, so the way things were uh, wasn't going to work the way things are now. Uh, and they didn't catch up with that. The uh, base of this reading is the Ten of Gardens. So the, the Ten of Pentacles is really happy family. And um, that's very interesting. And it's a lovely card to get as the, um, as the base of the reading because it gives you hope that things can be beautiful and wonderful in the way we, we hope that they would be with a strong uh, base of strong family uh, ties. In the past of that reading, and we're talking about Malaysia after all, is the uh, Five of Fires. So that has to be the Five of Wands. And... Um, Five of Wands. What do Wands represent? Um, you know, emotion, ideas, uh, moving things along. But the Five is always transitional. So, um, uh, a pointless uh, fighting here. So we got two uh, uh, skeletons uh, fighting to the death when they're dead. So it's um, an unwinnable uh, set of arguments. Um, and that's what we had in the past. Uh, gosh, trying to fight. So we couldn't win this battle. In Malaysia, uh, it's apparently whatever the prime minister did. I, I find that hard to believe, but it's an unwinnable set of situations. Or um, yeah, and then uh, in the sky of this, we have the uh, three of swords, and the three of swords is a broken heart, and you can see it very plainly depicted right here, actually. So yeah, the three of swords is just really uh, heartbreak, and um, oh, certainly what we got. And then the likely outcome for this Malaysia COVID situation is the king of fire, and um, so we have to get control. Of those actions and um, and that guy was not going to do it and I don't know how it's arranged now I didn't uh, look up to see how that's going but yeah that sounds about right for the Malaysian uh, COVID disaster good guy run out on the country the Afghan guy uh, I guess he was threatened you know would certainly probably been killed or be very controversial with his idea and the COVID um, failure that the Prime Minister of Malaysia made would also probably uh, get him killed. But anyway, so now let's switch over to Iran. Let me give this a couple shuffles. So Iran, what happens is in the lockdown, somehow they just don't, are they Are they not educated? I don't know. It seems like, um, I only know what I see on television, sadly, and I didn't do any research into it. But, um, you know, why? Are they just, are they anti? Or do they, are they just not smart? Um, is there not a good understanding uh, how dire it is. Is it a combination of all that? Probably. But the, the Iran COVID non lockdown. Let's take six cards. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. And see what we have to see here. The Iranian non lockdown. Six right of that was temperance. Well, you know, that's what you would have hoped for. That's what they were shooting for, temperance. Get a balance of how things were going to go and uh, keep uh, things on an even keel. And this is just an explosion of uh, fire here, this temperance. It's interesting. So uh, the challenge to that is the Six of Gardens, you know, the way things were. Um, it's such a simple, obvious explanation, but that is that, you know, just wanting things the way things were, wanting the government to be able to uh, give us uh, what we, what we, more than what we need, what we want. Okay, you don't need a bouquet of flowers. So that was the challenge to the ballots, I guess, um, somehow for Iran. And then in the base of that reading is the um, gesture of gardens. So this has got to be the page of, of pentacles. Okay, so he's just, you know, uh, bringing a suggestion of uh, the value that could be, um, you know, and, and is it even to be taken seriously? So and in the past of this reading is the two of winds, so that's the two of uh, swords. And the two of swords is always trying to make a decision which way you're going to go, what choice you're going to choose. And uh, here we've got two faces split in half, depicted in some sort of a bat. And then the sky, the sapphire, is a great big offer, you know, of a plan, actually. But uh, that's in the sky, so it's kind of like unreachable. And then the likely outcome of this thing for the non COVID lockdown 
is the uh, four of winds. So this is four swords. It's really getting up at your at your peril. This four swords. Um, so it's typically typically represented by a fellow laying on the coffin with four three swords hanging there and one by his side. But it's just uh, it's not good. Okay. So the the best things for everybody to stay locked down. Exactly the opposite of what they've been doing. So that's the end of that. Very interesting reads. And I guess I'm going to quit uh, looking at the newspaper so much. I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now.